Hi there. Now, if you watched the previous video, I introduced you to this formula here. It was a formula that allows us to change bases in logs. If you've got the log of a number n in base a, then we can change it to another base, let's say base b. What I didn't do though was give you any examples. So what I've got here are three examples based on this formula, which you might like to try. So I'll give you a moment just to pause the video, have a go. When you come back, I'll take you through the work solutions. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. You might want to fast forward though, just to check your working against mine. Now, with this first one, we've got to show that the log of 9 in base 3 equals 2, and then verify this by working in logs to base 10. So, if we take the log of 9 in base 3, then the answer is going to be 2. And the reason is, we should be familiar with this, that is the base, which is 3, raised to the power 2, gives us 9. So it's that 2 here, the power, that is our 2 here. Now, we've got to verify this by using the change of base formula. And if we do that, let's just put this down here, we've got the log of 9 then in base 3. If we're going to change it to base 10, then the b in the formula is going to be 10. So that would be the log in base 10 of our number here, 9. Now, you don't normally write the base 10 in, you just write it as log of the number. It's just understood to be in base 10. So what I'm going to do is just take that out and just put the log of 9, okay? And then that is divided by the log in base 10. Again, I'll leave out the base 10 there of a, which was the previous base, base 3 in this case. Now, if you get on your calculator, the log of 9, you should find, is 0.9542 and so on. And the log of 3 is 0 0.4771 and so on. And if you do that division, you get 2. Okay, so you can see that that formula here works. Now, in the next question, you've got to find the value of the log of 8 in base 4 by changing it to base 2. Now, the log in base 4 of 8 is going to be equal to, well, if we're changing it to base 2, it's going to be the log in base 2 of that number here, 8, and then that's going to be all divided by the log, again in base 2, of the previous base, which was 4. Now, we should know that the log of 8 in base 2 is 3. That's because 2 to the power 3 gives us 8. And if we divide this then by the log of 4 in base 2, that's going to be 2. And the reason for that one is that 2 to the power 2 equals 4. So that's how we get 3 over 2, or 1.5. It's well worth noting, though, that really we should have known the log of 8 in base 4 without really having to resort to this. And that's because, if I just write it in here, that if you were to do the base 4 over here, okay, to the power 3 over 2, by the law of indices, that 2 there means we square root the 4, and the 3 here means we cube that result. Well, the square root of 4 then is 2, and 2 cubed is going to give us 8, okay? So, just to verify that this result again works. Now, in the last one here, we've got to express the log of 3 in base 5 in terms of a log in base 3. 
So starting then with the log of 3 in base 5, well, if we change it to base 3, that's going to be the log in base 3 of our number here, which is 3. And then we divide that by the log of 5 in base 3. Now, we should be familiar with the log of a number in its own base. In this case, 3 in the base of 3. It's going to be 1. Remember, 3 to the power 1 gives us 3. OK, so that's the reason for that. And then we need to divide this by the log of 5 in base 3. And there you have it. OK, so I hope that's given you some idea then how we can use this particular formula in cases like this. OK, now you're generally going to meet using this formula, though, when it comes to working with equations that are in different bases. And that's going to come up in a later tutorial. OK.